Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Poker. I'm Lizzie Harrison, and Christy Arnett is right here with me to deliver this week's poker news directly to you. We'll lead off with High Stakes Poker now that we have confirmed its return to GSN for Season 5. That's right, GSN has signed up for another season of the revered cash game poker show that allows the general public a peek into the world of high rollers. Though it has yet to be determined where the season will shoot and when it will air, we do know that it will appear on GSN. This is interesting as GSN recently chose not to renew their contract with the World Poker Tour, which they had previously aired in conjunction with High Stakes Poker. The World Poker Tour, however, has already found a new home on FSN. Since the World Series of Poker went on hiatus for a few months, tournament poker professionals have a chance to enjoy some much-needed time off. Currently, there are no big tournaments underway, but on August 9th, the Borgata's Deep Stack event begins. It has a $2,000 buy-in, and they have guaranteed a prize pool of at least half a million dollars. Super Satellites begin on August 3rd. Also coming up is the World Poker Tour's Legends of Poker Tournament at the Bicycle Casino. The $10,000 buy-in event begins on Saturday, August 23rd. Last year, the tournament attracted 485 players, and Dan Harrington beat David Pham heads up to pocket the first place prize of nearly $1.6 million. The preliminary events at the bike kick off next Wednesday at 1.15 p.m. with a $300 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournament. Towards the end of August, another tournament is set to take place, but it's not here in the States. The Asian Poker Tour event in Macau starts on August 27th and has a $5,300 U.S. dollar buy-in. They have made the biggest prize pool guarantee in APT history, 1.5 million U.S. dollars for this event. Players like J.C. Tran, Quinn Do, Nam Lee, and Steve Sung have already confirmed that they'll be playing. In other APT news, it was announced today that a high-stakes cash game will also take place during the event in Macau. The minimum buy-in is 1 million Hong Kong dollars, which is equivalent to about 128,000 U.S. dollars. For the past year, card players followed the plight of a man who suffers from a chronic wasting disease, Scott Kowalski. He has received lengthy and expensive treatments for quite some time now, and he has recently explained to us that he is in need of financial help. Kowalski is just $12,000 short of the treatment that would save his life, and now you can get involved. Brett Youngblood and a card player reader organized a tournament on PokerStars this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The buy-in is $22, and half of that will go to the Scott Kowalski Fund. You can find the tournament under the private tab. The password is Scott W. In online poker news, Absolute Poker and Ultimate Bet have merged into one integrated online poker site called Sirius. Sirius launches in August and, while the sites will now share tournaments and players, they will also maintain their unique characteristics. The sites are already owned and operated by the same parent company, Tokuero Enterprises. In the past year, both Absolute Poker and Ultimate Bet were involved in situations where a few users took advantage of software security flaws. This enabled them to cheat by viewing their opponent's whole cards. For more information on that, check out the cardplayer.com Poker News Archives. And that sums up This Week in Poker. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Chris Arnett, and have a great weekend.